So you've run the video, you've got your results in a table. I'm just going to put in the results that I took in this table here. And your graphs automatically plot. So you've got the points there and the Google Sheets is drawing a single rule of best fit straight line as a straight line through most of your and closest possible to all your results there. There's not a lot of difference in temperature for the change in temperature. That's because the temperature scale we're using is from zero, melting point of ice, up to 100 degrees Celsius, which is the boiling point of water. If instead we plot that on a scale where we go beyond the melting point of ice and go into negative Celsius temperatures, we go all the way back down to minus 250, minus 270 here. And it's at that point that the pressure appears to be absolutely zero. At this point, all the molecules stop moving and you can't get any colder than this minus 270. The actual value is minus 273, but for this, we'll just use minus 270 for the results that we've got here. So that's as cold as cold can be. And you're now going to take some notes on a different temperature scale where this is where the temperature scale starts at zero and then goes up in one degree increments from there. And this is the Kelvin scale. And absolute zero is zero here. And that's as cold can possibly be. You can't have a negative Kelvin temperature because that's absolute zero right there.